What you're seeing here is water memory. You can do this experiment yourself just by showing an image to water for around 30 seconds and then freezing the water and you will see a reflection of the image you showed it. This proves that water holds memory, it has consciousness. This is because water can change its structure depending on the vibrations it comes into contact with. This is where things start to get a bit crazy with words. Placing the word schizophrenia in water and then freezing it shows this image of a double-faced person. This proves that water is intelligent and is reacting to vibrations of the words. Now that you understand this concept, what do you think happens when you are drinking monster energy? Or with cans which imprinted the word of death? You are drinking crystallized water with the imprinted vibration of death. You are filling 70% of your body, which is water, with the vibration of death. Tap water is mixed with sewage and all sorts of toxins inside of these facilities. Although they may remove some of the toxins from the water, the crystallized vibration of this water is still very bad. The ancients didn't just build beautiful water fountains for no reason. They they had a purpose of moving the water so that it restructures the vibration of the water. Water is basically the internet of the earth. It has consciousness and intelligence. This is why you should never place your car keys or your phone next to your water. The energy codes in my bio will allow you to place codes underneath water and then drink it.